What's going on guys? We are back at it again with another series here on the channel. In this one, we're actually going to be starting the Clockwork City DLC, but of course, first things first, we're going to be starting on the Prologue Quest, which is what this first video is going to be, the Prologue Quest. Starting in video number two, we're going to be getting started on the actual DLC itself, so stay tuned for that for one more video. Uh, but I'm pretty excited. Like I said, we're gonna be doing the the prologue quest first, which is called give me one second It's called of knives and long shadows. I had to look at it because I wasn't a hundred percent sure what the actual uh, Quest was called so and of course I looked up the name of the quest and how to start it etc etc So we're here in Mornhold getting ready to get started. I'm pretty excited to do so however if you are to do me a huge favor let me know down in the comment section down below. Drop a like on this video if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel again if you haven't already because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, enough yapping for me guys. I'm ready to get this show on the road. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, first things first, we have to read this. Order of the Eye Dispatch. I'm pretty sure that's what the quest is. Uh, <clears throat> yep, there it is. Of Knives and Long Shadows. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and try to read this. I'm a horrible reader, so bear with me, guys. Uh, to the Archmage of Ivia. I pray that this letter reaches you soon, Master. My fellow scryers and I have made a shocking discovery where it proves to be a boon or a, catastroph uh, a catastrophe uh, remains to be seen. Alas, we do not wield sufficient power to act in our findings. This ma uh, matter may be beyond the ken of even <coughs> the greatest wizards of our age. I humbly beseech you, meet me at the Mage's Guild Hall in Mournhold as a... Uh, as soon as possible. I will tell you everything when you arrive. Yours in the sight of Saiba... Syria... Sy that. Uh, descent... Blah, 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 blah. Order of the eye. Okay, got it. So, the good thing is, we already are in Mold Mournhold, as you can see in the top left corner. <clears throat> Let's go inside the Mages Guild so that we can continue... This, we have to talk to Skull. What's his name? Skull Deer. <coughs> He's over here. You read my letter. Oh, I'm so <coughs> grateful you've come. We found something powerful. A, a Daedric. Wait, what's happening? Oh! Oh! Skull Deer's shadow? A shadow of himself killed him. Damn it! Who is doing this? Was it me? I promise it wasn't me. Bona fried. Freed. I was not fast enough. <clears throat> Damn it all! Did you see what happened here? Was it his shadow? Yes. His shadow came to life and stabbed him. Just as I feared. I knew looking for this artifact would get us killed. I warned them. Warned all of them, but they wouldn't listen. They never listen. I've got to find the others. There's still time to save them. <clears throat> Has to be. What others? What are you looking into? Something very dangerous. But that can wait. My friends are in danger and don't even see it. Some scryers, huh? A Daber's in Shornhelm. And when Riddle is in Marbrook. Nilo's in Stormholt, maybe? Yes, yes, he must be there. I just hope we're not too late. Don't worry, I'll warn your friends as fast as possible. Thanks for that. <coughs> Got any questions? Let's just make it quick, all right? Well, who are you? Can very well outrun their own shadows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you exactly? Bonifred of Clan Owlcloak. Skaldia and I came up together in Riften under Magus Auriella. He was always the sharper blade. Magic came easily for him. Me? Not so much. Got too much frost in my blood. Still, I can hold my own. Just takes me a while. What brought you here? Unfortunately, Skaldia's not the only mage who's been killed by his own shadow. He's just the most recent. Other members of our order have been turning up dead all over Tamriel. I hurried here to warn him, but I wasn't fast enough. 
What did you and Skaldir discover uh, that was so terrible? Sure's bones. You really want to know, huh? Fine. Yeah. My associates and I are all junior scryers in the Order of the Eye. We scoured the tombs and ruins of Tamriel, looking for extra planar threats, rifts in the veil, Daedric artifacts, that sort of thing. <clears throat> what exactly did you find? We've had visions of a Daedric artifact. At least we think it's a Daedric artifact. It's hazy, you know, obscured by something like frosted glass. Sorry. Skaldia was always the wordsmith. Uh, and you're sure that Skaldir's death is related to this artifact? A mage can't afford to be sure of anything. But I'd bet my family's meadery on it. Daedric artifacts grant untold power to those that carry them, but always at a cost. The Mage's Guild can't let even one of these things fall into the wrong hands. Makes sense. Who are these other people you mentioned? Other junior scryers in the Order of the Eye. It was just Skaldia and me at first, but others caught on eventually. We started writing each other once we realized we'd all stumbled upon the same artifact. <laughs> Thought we could find it all on our own. Why can't you warn the others yourself? You think I haven't tried? I sent projections, but this doesn't come easily for me. Uh, magic, I mean. Anyway, I have to warn High King Yorin first. I heard that his rune guard has been looking into the artifact as well. Please, just find my friends. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I was I wasn't following along. I was trying to find where she was, but when she said High King Yorin, it sounded like she said Yorin, like P. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so we gotta warn these guys. I kind of remember this quest. Uh, only in the sense. So uh, full disclosure, I've done this quest. I've done this DLC before, but I've. I say this at the beginning of every single, you know, playthrough or let's play or whatever with this game because I've done pretty much everything in this game already. The problem I have Speak to me before entering more is that, um, or it's not necessarily a problem, but the thing is that I kind of sped run through everything, so I never paid attention to the story or anything. So that's why, uh, I kind of let it all for the channel. But yeah, I remember this quest in the sense that it, it, it got confusing trying to find and warn everybody. <clears throat> I hate quests with multiple points of interest because it, it gets confusing sometimes. I, I hate it personally, but this quest, or this game does a horrible job at that. Alright, let me see. You know what? Maybe I could just do it like this. The first one is in Stornhelm in Rivenspire. Okay, so let's go this way. And then we'll go to Rivenspire. Luckily, it's pretty easy to find Rivenspire. It's in my capital city. Or uh, not my capital city, but my alliance area, if you will. Cause I'm a Daggerfall Covenant guy. Hold on, which way is it? Straight. Okay, so we're going to the Mages Guild. Bear with me, guys. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get confused. It 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 just always happens. I wish it was like some other games where it like if you have multiple objectives, it'll say one, two, and three. That way you know which one to follow. You know. <coughs> Alright, so uh, this is Yawek something. You look a bit lost, friend. Can I help you find a book? I'm looking for a mage named Ab Adebur. <laughs> Do you know who uh where he is? I know a great many mages. The person I don't know, of course, is you. Fair. Why are you asking about a Daber? A Daber. Bonafried uh sent me to warn him. His life may be in danger. Bonifred, the nearsighted scryer? What she... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Daber left just a moment ago. Said he needed some quiet. He usually goes to the courtyard behind the guild hall when he needs some time alone. Is he going to be alright? I mean, I hope so. Someone has been killing his associates in the Order of the Eye. You're serious, aren't you? Yeah. 
Mara, protect us. I'll gather up the other initiates and alert the Magister at once. Please, just find the Debra and bring him back safe. We'll do all we can to protect him. Thank you. We'll find him. So he said he likes to hang out behind the actual guild hall itself. So we're at the guild hall. So all we got to do is literally just run around. Uh, okay, so maybe not this way. He's going to be dead, isn't he? Where the hell is this guy? Oh my god, he's dead. I am not reading that, but feel free to read it if you guys would like. If I read everything, guys, it's going to be a very long playthrough. Very long video. It's going to be a long video anyways, but... It's just a slow read for me because I'm not a very good reader. I normally read it in post. Okay, well, let's talk to Homeboy again. He's going to be sad to know... That his friend is dead. You're back. Good. Armagus erected a powerful ward on the door and... Wait. I know that expression. You bring grim tidings, don't you? Adabar is dead. He is. I'm sorry. The eight damn whoever did this to him. He was so sweet. Such a quiet and gentle soul. Always there with a timid smile and a kind word. Who could... Thank you for letting me know. We'll see to it that he's laid to rest. Just warn the others. I'll do what I can, my friend. Thank you. Aw, oh, I feel bad for him. He seems legitimately sad. So we warned the first guy. Well, kind of. The second person... No, that's not what I wanted. The second person is in Marbrook, which is in Green Shade. Green Shade, okay. That's in the Aldermary Dominion side. I have to make my way over there. Luckily, my horse is already at 60, so we are going as fast as we can. We also have that major gallop thing, too, from the assault skill line. Okay, so gr Green Shade, right? Right here. Hopefully we get to this guy on time. Okay. Um, well this one has a quest marker outside. Oh, is that is that them? When a drill or whatever? It is. I see you leering at me. On your way, you're on call the guard. No, no. You need to talk to me. Ma'am. Ma'am, some. Oh! The day will be ours. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. Oh, I defeated the shadow. Where'd she go, dude? She like straight up disappeared. Oh, she went to the mages guild. That's probably the best thing she could have done. That's probably the best thing she could have done. Not gonna lie. Benadryl, Benadryl, where are you, Benadryl? There you are, Benadryl. Is, is it dead? Oh, it's a nice little wood elf, <laughs> little bossmer. Uh, yes, I dealt with the shadow. You're safe now. It was my shadow, wasn't it? It was. His name. Why would it attack me? I always treated it well. Plenty of sunshine, candlelight and such. All done now, I suppose. It doesn't look like it's coming back. In great. Now I feel... Uh, <coughs> damn. Are you alright? Not really. I think my shadow may have peeled off some of my animus. My soul, I mean. Or maybe just some of my magical aptitude. Either way, it's something I'll miss. Don't blame yourself. You did keep it from killing me, after all. Well, bon uh, Bonifred sent me. She thinks these attacks uh, have something to do with the artifact you were studying. Well, that was charitable of her. Didn't think she much liked me. Bit of a sore head, that one. Anyway, I'm grateful. I hid my notes on the artifact in the planter over there. 
Just in case, you know. They're yours if you want them. Okay, thank you. Stay safe, my friend. See you later, Benadryl. She hit him in the planter. That's not a very good hiding place. Again, I'm not going to read this because I'm a very slow reader, but feel free to go ahead and read this if you guys would like to. Just push pause and we'll call it a day. I'm not going to click this just to get the, um, the lore in my book. <clears throat> so the next one I'm guessing is in the Ebonheart pack. Shadowfin. Makes sense. It's right here. Okay, so let's go to Shadowfin. Where's the, um, way shrine? It's in this direction. Excuse me. I must get to the... Okay. What did I say it was? Shadowfin? Pretty sure it's Shadowfin. Well, the good thing is that I'm not getting very confused. I remember specifically the last time I did this quest, I was running all over the place because I could not remember or I could not figure out where to go. Find Nemo. Is this him? Hey, that was easy. Stay back. Back. I will not die like the others. No, you you're misunderstanding. I'm not here to harm you. The mages guild are be uh mages are being killed by the uh, by their own shadows. Skaldir was one of them. You think I do not know? I know. I have heard the stories. Ragar, Gilnanor, and now Skaldir, all dead at your hand, no doubt. Well, I am too clever for you, Shadow Weaver. Try to touch me and my wards will tear you apart. Clearly, you're not all there right now. So, I can intimidate and say, If I were here to kill you, you'd be dead already. Now stop being an idiot and come out of there. Or I can say, I know you're upset. Lower your wards and we can talk about it. I'm gonna intimidate you. If I was here to kill you, you'd be dead already. Now stop being an idiot and get out of there. I don't. Alright. I'm sorry. I'll come out. By the egg. You remind me of my sister, Zarai. She is a wonderful person. But when she gets mad, I'd rather tangle with an angry hackwing. How do you know about the shadows? Boniford sent me. She wants you to seek a safe place. You should go, uh, you should go to your sister. Yes, of <clears throat> course. Zarai will put me in a very bright room. Or should it be a very dark room? Uh, I cannot take this kind of stress. Look, my scales are falling out. Thank you. And Bonifred, tell her I am sorry I doubted her dedication in the past. No worries. Stay close to your sister. You'll be all right. Yes, yes, I know I will. If you have spoken to Bonifred... You must know about our research into the Daedric Artifact. Please, take my notes. Preferably far, far away. I hid them in those roots over there. I am sure that is what these shadows want. Okay. I will keep your notes safe. Good luck, my friend. Stay safe. Well, at least it was literally right here. Nilo's notes. Go ahead, again, once again, for the third time. Uh, if you guys want to read this, go ahead and push pause. I am going to read it in post. Because if I read it, it's gonna take forever. You would unravel the secret of these murderous shadows. Approach me. Uh, who are you? Do not be alarmed. I'm not. Only you can see me. I am Lilatha, Sigic Master of the Gazing Glass. I have watched you from afar, and I believe we share the same goal. You seek to destroy these vengeful shadows, yes? Mm hmm. I believe we can help each other. What are you asking me to do? All the Shadow's victims were seeking a Daedric artifact. An extra planar antiquity that remains hidden from my sight. To solve these murders, we must first locate the artifact. I require two objects to find it. An Anuic lantern and a liminal lens. Uh, where are these objects? I believe the lantern lies hidden in a sunken ship near Carnathia's Roost. The lens rests in a coffer, deep within the howling sepulchres. Recover the items, then seek out my boat near Balkal Guard. Trust no one. Our enemies are very well hidden. Alright, but before I do this, I have some questions. 
I am sorry we can't have this conversation in person. I fear that I am too tempting a target for this shadowy killer. I must remain hidden. You have questions. I urge you to keep them brief. There's no telling when our enemy will strike again. That's fair. You mentioned the Sigix. Yes. I take it that you're unfamiliar with our order. That's hardly a surprise. We once served as advisors and teachers to the greatest kings and emperors, but no longer. We retreated to our hidden Isle of Arteum, content to study in seclusion. Arteum? Indeed. It's an island beyond Tamriel's borders, where we can research the truths of the Orbis without interruption. That is the purpose of the Sigic Order, after all. To study magic for the betterment of all. If that's true, why aren't you on Arteum right now? There are worrying signs. Portents that cannot be ignored. I fear that a Daedric threat looms over Tamriel. Nothing so crude and obvious as the plain man. No, it's something hidden. And I suspect that this Daedric artifact may hold some answers. Uh, what do you plan to do with this lantern and the lens? They are critical components of an ancient psychic mechanism known as the Obscuros. One second. Okay, what's an Obscuros? The Obscuros is a scrying device. It magnifies a mage's perception and projects their visions for all to see. A powerful tool indeed. When my order retreated to Artea, we scattered the device's components to prevent it from being misused. Uh, where's this device now? I'm afraid I can't say. The forces arrayed against us are too mysterious. They may have found a way to listen in. I can't risk divulging the Obscurus's location. Collect the items and I promise my boat will be waiting for you in Valko Guard. Just your boat? Your boat? Indeed. A self-steering vessel of my own design. Climb aboard and the enchantment I've placed on it will bring you to me directly. It's quite safe, I assure you. Uh, what do you know about this Daedric artifact? Very little. Daedric artifacts are notoriously difficult to track. Some misguided soul may discover one and wield it for a time. But it always vanishes eventually. Sometimes for a week. Sometimes for centuries. <coughs> Are they dangerous? Oh, yes. Items of power always introduce some measure of peril to the world. This is doubly true with Daedric artifacts. They exist to carry out the dark intentions of their creators, you see. They turn even the best intentions to malice eventually. Uh, why do you think this one is so good at hiding from you? That is the question, isn't it? I suppose it is. I trained for centuries on the Isle of Artea, briefly under Sothasil himself. Yet still, this artifact eludes me. Vexing is the word. Either this artifact is shrouded by a powerful ward, or it isn't here. Isn't here? It might be tucked away in a pocket plane. Or caught in some orbit gaia, bouncing between worlds. Impossible to say. That's why I need the lantern and the lens. Got it, tracking, bye! Okay, so we have to collect the lantern and the lens. So what's the first one? The Howling Sepulchres, which is in Craglorn. Uh, what's the nearest? Right there. I was going to say the nearest way shrine. It's in Craglorn. Okay. Howling Sepulchres. It's one of these, right? Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, so let's go to this one. And then we'll go west from there. Or east from there, excuse me. East. Let's ride. I gotta make sure I go the right way. Otherwise, I'm going to literally confuse myself and... Go the opposite direction, which I tend to do very often, admittingly, because I'm dumb, but it's okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep looking just in case. Whoops. The Howling Sepulchres. Hey, I remember this spot. This is where we had that final 
quest with uh in the Craglorn DLC. It's a good quest. That was a very good quest line. I liked it a lot. I like to think fate puts us in dark places. Yeah, 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 Bastion. The Howling Sepulchers. Every time I hear Sepulchers, it always reminds me of uh, Skyrim with the Twilight Sepulchers. Ooh, I like the sounds in this place. I'm not gonna fight anybody. At least I don't think. I'm probably just gonna run through everything. Looks like somebody already cleared away for me, anyways. See you later. Run! Let's keep them down as long as possible. So far, so good. Whoops. Don't worry about me. You don't see nothing. Almost there. Ooh, there's three of them this time. Run! Ooh. Oh, freaking would be a damn... Okay, that's it. You guys are done, so... Come on! Oh, that guy's way out of his zone. That stuff really slowed me down. Is it's okay? Yeah, it's right here. Dragon priest burial burial chamber. <gasps> Let's go ahead and take one of those just to get our stuff all the way up. What's up, buddy? Stood no chance whatsoever. Hey, collected the Limial Lens. Where's the next one at? The next one is not gonna tell me until I get out of here, apparently. So we're just gonna book it. <clears throat> oh crap. Attack! No attack, run! You see nothing. Huzzah. Bastion, save me, damn it. Did I make a wrong turn? I think I made a wrong turn. I think it's this way. Yeah, okay, good. Ooh, I almost made a full circle again. That would have been bad. Well, it still shows that I'm under attack. So hopefully now it should tell me properly exactly where the next objective is. We need the lens? No, the lantern. Let me get a little bit of distance. Stop showing me the howling sepulchers! Um... Well, that's annoying. Okay, the uh, way shrine should be in this direction, isn't it? Yes. It just sucks because it's kind of far. Let me try to do this again. It keeps showing me the freaking Twilight Sepulchers. Oh, man, I really thought I could get through there. Wrongo! Well, the good thing is that I could see the... Uh, the way shrine. The problem is, I have no freaking idea where I'm going. Maybe if I just fast travel to any random location. Let's go to Beth, Nick, Garb, whatever. It still freaking shows me the same. God. How am I supposed to know where to go? If it keeps telling me to go, you know what? I'm just gonna follow the objective. That should kind of help me, right? <clears throat> I doubt it's in way rest.
All right, what's the next next hit spot? Oh God. Is it over here, maybe? Uh, where am I? Okay, so the way shrine is in this direction. Shut up. We really do need the, uh, those fighters guild and mages guild quest lines, don't we? <clears throat> Whoops. Daggerfall. God, this is gonna be such an annoying quest line. This, I remember specifically this happened to me the last time too. Look at that. Again, the Howling freaking Sepulchers. I don't want to know. I wish I could remember where she said it was. It was in, uh... The Alder Mary Dominion side, wasn't it? Reaper's March, Grotwood, Green Shade. I think it was in Kenarthi's Roost. It is. Oh, thank God. Thankfully, I remembered <coughs> where it was. I remembered it was in the Alder Mary Dominion side. I just couldn't remember exactly where. And then I remembered that it was a starting area. That, that's gonna hurt. No worries, let's go. <clears throat> you see nothing. Wait, are these good guys? These guys are, these are, these are good guys. I really wanted to jump before I hit the water, so at least I got a little bit of distance, but uh... I kinda didn't work. Oh well. <clears throat> Whatever it is I'm looking for is on this broken ship. Is it up top? Might be in here, right? No. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, I'll let you guys read this on your own. If you guys want to read it, go ahead and push pause. I'm going to read it in post. Uh, search for clues. Maybe this box. It's going to make me swim back. Oh my god, it's like straight up the opposite direction. I mean, the good thing is that I can hit this spot right here. Then this spot. Then this spot, and then I got three of the six, uh, sky shards. Oh, it's in this tower. Okay. Time out. Time out, fellas. What do you want? What the hell? They're making it rain. Hey, found it. So let's go to the second one. I'm gonna do something crazy. Oh, I'm gonna die. I guess I didn't die. Good job. Nope. I don't want to talk to you. Nope. Alright, so where's this next one? The next one's around here somewhere. Oh, it's gonna be up there, isn't it? Oh, crap. Okay. How do I get up there? Hey! Nice! Found a cheaty way to get up there. It's gonna be out back. There it is. Shut up, lady. So that's two. Since I'm about to fly off this freaking mountain. Bingo. That was perfect. It's the best part about being a Templar. Is that you got a, you got a little boost to healing, you know? Even though that ability that I'm using is actually not even a Templar ability. Okay, well that's good. 
Now let's go straight. Please, a moment. Not gonna lie, Gathwin. You scared the hell out of me. But I'm not interested at the moment. So, let's go. Next stop is the actual quest itself. There's so many quests everywhere, man. I swear, it's very difficult for me to keep my mind focused sometimes because it's just quests everywhere. And my gamer side always wants to... Ow. Always wants me to click on everything. It's up there. Is oh, Okay. No, it's not. It's in here. I swear I thought it was upstairs. I was about to say, crap, that sucks. Are these bad guys? Yes, they are. Dunzo. Okay, I'm not gonna kill him. I wonder if I can get... Haha! -ha! Now where? I gotta find the boat. It's in Volkahar. Uh, Vol you know what? I'm just gonna, f I'm just gonna fast travel. Volkagard is in. Oh, okay. It's in Ard, 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 I. Somerset. Or, uh, yes. Sure. Elfland. How about that? Does that work? <clears throat> Volkil... Volkilgard. So I actually have to dive into the water. For Narnia! Bastion doesn't like water, so he likes to disappear. It's probably why he stinks all the time, because he doesn't shower. Makes sense. Oh, Bastion. I guess getting on the horse was kind of not necessary. Wait, don't leave yet. <gasps> Butterfried, what's up? Are you really going to climb aboard this death trap? Just hold a moment and think it through. Uh, Butterfried, how did you find me? Would you believe pluck and intuition? Yeah, didn't think so. I may look the part, <laughs> but I'm no bloodhound. Truth is, I slipped a sporing coin into your pocket before you left Mournhold. A sporing what? Explain yourself. A sporing coin. It's an enchanted drake. Looks mundane, but it bears a charm that we can track. You don't approve? No. We can argue about that later. For now, I can't let you get on this boat alone. It's too dangerous. Let me go with you. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Let's finish this investigation together. Smart. Two heads are better than one. Especially when one of those heads is as hard as mine. Let's hop to it, eh? It's about time we got some answers. Let's go. Who trusts who trusts elves anyways? <laughs> Dan Dranil Kir. Dranil Kir. I, dude, I love fantasy games, but I swear I could never pronounce a single word in any of them. In any freaking video game. That's fantasy related. Tongue twister after tongue twister after tongue twister, I swear. <coughs> hey, is that her? Campfire on the beach. I still don't see the appeal. Hey, how's it going, I Lithuania? Arrived. Welcome to Dranil Kia. Let's get in out of the rain, shall we? I trust you brought the items I requested. The scrying chamber is just up the hill. Follow me. You could like slow down Lithuania. The weather here is always poor. A side effect of the Obscurus's presence, I'm told. Come, it's just through here. Okay. I'm confident that the components you brought will fit. But the Obscuros device has been dormant for centuries. 
Let's hope that the genius of my forebears has stood the test of time. Affix the lantern and the lens. The answers we seek are within our grasp. Do you okay. feel the chill? It's like... Oh no. What's happening to me? Oh, she's over there! We must kill the shadow. How Don't worry! No, I will not perish here. What? You Just... oh, witness I will not... No! She was evil. Got no power left. Use a potion. Shut up, Bastion. I know that. S slay them. I'll mend your wounds. What? Butterfree dis dis betrayed us. Lens mounting ring place. <clears throat> the uh, okay, activate. <gasps> Fabricant. I don't No. This cannot be. Clockwork. He was sealed long ago. What is this creature? Some new Daedric beast? The Clockwork City. Could it be? After all this time? I guess so. What you got uh, for me, Lithuania? The images revealed by the Obscuros leave little room for doubt. The Daedric artifact we seek is somewhere inside the Clockwork City. Why would Sothasil allow such an item to enter his domain? I fear that something terrible has happened. Can you tell me more about the Clockwork City? Yes, of course. I sometimes forget this is not common knowledge. Sothasil, brother to Vivek and Magus of the Tribunal, created the Clockwork City long ago. He rarely speaks of it, but scholars believe this city has the power to remake Tamriel. Remake Tamriel? What do you mean? The city functions as a <coughs> simulacrum of the corporeal plane. Making a change to the clockwork city may well change some aspect of Tamriel itself. This is all speculative, but I've studied under Sotha Seal. I have no doubt that this is within his power. So if someone took over a clockwork city, they could change or even destroy Tamriel? Indeed. An unwelcome prospect, to be sure. Whoa, that's scary. Normally, I would assure you that Sotha Seal has the situation well in hand. He is a friend to the Sijix and to the people of Tamriel. But the presence of this Daedric artifact gives me pause. So what do you plan to do? <clears throat> I must inform the Sijic Rite Master. If Daedra have breached the gates of the Clockwork City, we must move swiftly. As for you, I would counsel vigilance. Whoever set these events in motion no doubt sees you as a threat. Take this and my thanks. We employ the most powerful scrying device in Tamriel, and all it yields is more questions. Hmm. A perfect metaphor for the scholarly life, I suppose. Uh, is there anything we can do now? There is one who might be able to help. The ancient dark elf mage, Devay Fear. Though we rarely see eye to eye, I must admit that his grasp of Daedric law is unparalleled. If anyone would know more, it's Fear. Where can I find him? Fear casts a long, ethereal shadow. It makes him difficult to miss. I sense, yes, he is in Mournhold, the Tribunal Temple, conferring with Almalexia, perhaps. Find Devaith and tell him what is at stake. With any luck, we will find common cause. I'll look for Devaith, Fear, in Mournhold. We employ the most powerful scrying device in Tamriel, and all it yields is more questions. Hmm. A perfect metaphor for the scholarly life, I suppose. Yeah, I think you're pretty sure you said the same thing already. You sound tired, are you alright? 
I wish I could say yes. I fear that in destroying my shadow, we've destroyed some vital piece of my animus. I feel thin, diminished. A weakened Sigic is still a formidable mage, but something is definitely broken. Best not to think about it. I guess Blunderfeard was a powerful mage after all. So you knew our attacker? Hmm. Unfortunately. She was powerful indeed, and yet I sensed that the strength was not her own. Her form was clumsy, but she struck with the power of a master wizard. Usually I'd suspect possession, but with her, I'm not so certain. What do you mean? Someone granted her powers beyond her ken. An agent of oblivion, no doubt. Bonifred was clearly filled with hatred, consumed by jealousy or resentment, perhaps. The Daedra can twist those passions into untold horrors. I pity her. What else can you tell me about the Divineth fur fear? Just remain watchful. <coughs> Divaith is far from scrupulous. While we Sigic study magic for the benefit of all, Lord Fear only studies it to satisfy his personal ambitions. When our interests align, he can be a powerful ally. When they don't... He becomes your enemy. Enemy is too strong a word. He just resolves to make our lives as difficult as possible. He knows that opposing the Order directly would go very poorly for him. For now, I think he will prove very useful. I advise vigilance, nonetheless. How do you know so much about Sothisil? Well, no one really knows Sothisil. Not even the other members of the Tribunal. I studied under him for a time. He was patient, surprisingly attentive. The perfect teacher in many respects. Even so, I never really felt that I knew him. Not even the other members of the Tribunal? You would think that, like... Al Malexia, or even, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Vivek would know a thing or two about Sothasil, Sorth you know? Uh, what can you tell me, uh, about him? Beyond the obvious? Not much. I can tell you he's nothing like Vivek. He never spoke about himself, or the dark elf faith. I always got the sense that he... Well, resented isn't the right word. He just seemed ambivalent about that part of his life. And the Clockwork City? Did he talk about that? Only obliquely, and mostly <coughs> in metaphor. It's his primary pursuit now. Some say it's his obsession. You see, despite all his power, there is a melancholy to him. It's unfortunate, but not surprising. True wisdom always brings some measure of despair. Uh, you mentioned a Sigic Rite Master. Who is that? I must admit, I'm unaccustomed to discussing such matters with people outside our order. But I think you've more than earned the privilege. Rite Master Iacasis directs the Sigics. He rivals Sothasil in wisdom, if not in power. Isn't Sothasil something like a god? Something like, yes. The old ways give little credence to such titles. What is a god other than an exceptionally powerful agent? Anyway, power is overrated. Wisdom is the true measure of a person. In that regard, Iacasis is great indeed. Could I meet him? Someday, perhaps. The Sigic Order's Isle of Arteum is no longer here. It may return in time, but for now, you'd probably have an easier time reaching Aetherius or realms beyond. The order values solitude, much like Sothasil. Goodbye. By the way, I know exactly where it is. Arteum is right there. I found Arteum. Okay, so talk to. Well, I'm over here spitting. My bad. To Clockwork City. Are we actually going to Clockwork City now? There's no way we're going to clockwork already, right? Okay, we're almost there. Can I not mount in this location? That's so weird. Sucks that I have to run all the way out here, but okay, whatever. It is what it is. 
Back to Aridon. Man, I have such a hard time saying elven things, I swear. Oh, look. Lithuania's with me. Okay. So, she said that he was in Mornhold. This is Mornhold, so let's just go ahead and fast travel to make it quick as possible. See you later, Lithuania. <clears throat> For the record, I know that's not how you pronounce it, but... Whatevs. We have to go to the main building, I guess it what it is. I wonder if we're gonna meet Sothasil. Ooh, this guy looks This guy looks dope. Hand of Almalexia. That's interesting. Are we gonna meet Almalexia? Hand of Almalexia. Tribunal Temple. I think we're gonna meet Almalexia. Ah, you've arrived at last. Come forward. We have much to discuss. Yes. Did you think I would not expect you? I already know all that occurred with Lilatha and the murderous shadows. Rest assured, I will find this mysterious Daedric artifact. Perhaps you'd like to assist me. Sure, why not? What exactly would I be signing up for? A voyage that only a few have ever undertaken. We will travel to Sotha Seal's peculiar experiment, the Clockwork City. I have inquiries to make. You will assist me. You know how to reach the Clockwork City? I do. The Trillions <coughs> are not so clever that they could hide such a place from me for long. The city is quite close, and also very far away. Just the first of Sotha Seal's many paradoxes. If you choose to join me, be prepared for many more. Why ask me, uh, to help? I have no great fondness for that Sigic Lilatha, but you saved her life and defeated a powerful shadow mage in the process. A remarkable accomplishment for someone of your breeding. <laughs> I'm confident you will continue to surprise me. All right, I'll work with you. Of course you will. Naturally, you have questions. Alas, they will have to wait. Servants of the Tribunal do not look kindly on blasphemous journeys like this one. Meet me at the waterfall north of the city. We can discuss the details there. Okay. Prepare if you must, but make it quick. Time is not on our side. I really wanted to meet Almalexia. Saw those freaking guards that are called Hand of Almalexia, and I'm like, wow, that would have been dope to, to meet Almalexia. Okay, so I'm just assuming that I'm gonna just go around and meet him ar around back, right? Is that is that the case? <clears throat> I'm assuming that's the case. The waterfall. Oh! oh. There you are. Come here behind the waterfall. Where? Oh, there it is. Oh, hello. <coughs> My companion arrives at last. Now then, our journey begins in this dreary little cave. Quite a surprise, yes? Believe me, it won't be the last. We can speak freely here, but do make it brief. All this natural splendor is just tedious. Uh, you mentioned Sothasil. Who is he? The father of mysteries, the... Clockwork God, the Tinkerer, and other such banal titles. The Sofa Seal, or Set, is a member of the Dark Elf Tribunal. He reigns over Morrowind as the god of craft and sorcery, the wisest and most reclusive of the three. Do you know him well? Ha! No one truly knows Sofa Seal, not even his hordes of wild eyed worshippers. I studied with him before his ascent, and even then he defied comprehension. His only true peer was Indoril Nerevar. Such a shame what happened to him. Indor Nerevar? Indeed. Saint Nerevar the Captain. Our king and greatest champion for a time. He died, tragically, during a journey to the heart of Red Mountain. 
was all very sudden. Some believe his retainer, Dagoth Ur, struck the mortal blow. Others... What do the others think? Some believe that Sothasil, Vivek, and Almalexia murdered Nerevar so they could take divine power for themselves. Who's to say what really happened? In any event, Sothasil emerged from the mountain even more inscrutable than before. I mean, we've met Vivek before. It doesn't really seem like that's something he would do, but I could be wrong. I don't know too much about the tribunal, to be honest. Uh, <clears throat> what do you think happened? I think it's irrelevant. The silence of Sothasil may come from a place of grief and deep regret. It might be a side effect of his fierce obsessions, perhaps both. How he became a god is no concern of mine. I respect his knowledge, nothing more. Okay, that's fair. What do you hope to find in Clockwork City? A Daedric artifact. I take a keen interest in all such objects, but this one seems especially significant. You see, nearly everyone who searches for it winds up dead. I suspect that someone or something hid this artifact away in the Clockwork City. Are you concerned about seeking an object that got other people killed? Other people are not to bait fear. I've not lived this long by shying away from dangerous relics. Anyway, if this artifact inspired someone to slaughter scores of mages, it's clearly something worth investigating. Why does Sortha still hide in the Clockwork City? Uh, cl the Clockwork City here. Sotha Seal hides everything. But more to your point, it's not just a city. It's an incomprehensibly powerful, world-shaping device. Can't leave that sort of thing lying about, can you? Also, Almalexia worries about how it reflects on her divinity. Almalexia? Yes, Seal's fellow tribune. A machine can be studied. And perhaps understood in time. She fears that by reducing their divinity to a machine, so the seal lessens the mystique of their godhood. To his great credit, Seal largely ignores these concerns. Okay, let's go in. Secret cavern. It's not really much of a secret, to be honest. But okay, well we'll we'll see. Okay, Clockwork City Vaults. If it decides to load in, that is. Yay. Oh, I thought that was a bad guy. Draftier than I remembered. Follow me. Guars. Whoa, I almost freaking ran off. Welcome to the Dwarven Hold of Arms Arm Shen. Such as it is. Ironic that AM's holy city of Mournhold has Wembrick Boots. Yeah, that is weird. Curious. Practically no one knows this roof, but this scaffolding looks new. Built by rogue ordinators, perhaps? Stay watchful. So the seal always did admire dwarven industry, albeit quietly. Perhaps that's why he built his city here. Uh-oh. I mean, I would have destroyed him if he would have actually wanted to fight me. And to our destination. Come along. Okay, let's go. Sense Vault. Well, I wanted to hear what he said, but okay, I guess we won't be listening to him. <clears throat> Whatever it is we're looking for, it's literally here. Oh my god, we... You see, just across the ravine. That's our door. Clearly. We've been to the Clockwork City, though, haven't we? Dude, something literally destroyed all these things, and it had to be somewhat recent. He's talking, but I can't hear him. I'd say prepare yourself, but nothing can prepare you for what's to come. Touch the sphere. Clockwork City awaits. All right. Protect him. This is not the brass fortress. 
Someone diverted our passage. Audacious, but foolhardy. When I find them, I... Wait. I feel... Cold. Back, creature! Ooh, he's My powerful. Shadow. My power! Don't let it escape! I'm trying! Well, I guess we're chasing him down. Don't worry, my friend. We'll find him and we'll destroy him. And we'll get your power back. I guess he's in here already. Factotums! They're activating! Factotums? Oh, they're right there. Oh, and right there. Where? Whoa! You want some of this? Okay. Say hello, my little friend. Oh, to the southeast. Make ready. Ha! Oh! Sit your butt down. It probably isn't. Dude, these guys are fast. Chase the shadow where well, I didn't even see where he went. My shadow remains close. We must hurry. Swivel swords. Gotta be careful. That was close. I almost got chopped in half. Throw the first switch. Where's the other one? Did I pass it? You need to keep moving. <laughs> Hello. Uh, perhaps I failed to impress the gravity of our situation upon you. If my shadow gets away, we may never escape this place. So if you have something to say, say it quickly. What really, uh, was that really your shadow? Yes. And perhaps something more. In removing my shadow, our attacker removed some vital part of my animus. My soul, in the common parlance. Without it, my power is severely diminished. Needless to say, this, this will not do. I've seen this before. If we kill your shadow, you will lose that power permanently. Yes, of course. Disrupting the binding would cause my animus to disperse. A welcome prospect, to be sure. I might be able to reclaim the shadow, but not before we exhaust its power. So when we confront it, use restraint. I'll try to remember that. Do you have any idea who sent us here? Not yet. We should have translocated directly to the Brass Fortress, Seal's chief municipality here in the Clockwork City. Somehow we ended up here, vexing. How do we plan to get out of here? Yeah, one step at a time, if you please. We need only to find a landmark or map or something. Once I determine where we are, it won't take long to find an exit. Just leave that to me. You focus on these traps. Good to know. Bye. Well, I did one thing. Ha. Okay, so I guess the next part of the trap is over here. Let me go ahead and uh, at least give myself some regeneration just in case something hits me. Oh! Brutal! Magic. Hey, there you are. Well done. Killed by spinning knives is not an epitaph worthy of debate fear. Now, onward. I'm eager to see what new wind-up absurdities await us. Same. It's been pretty intense so far. This has to be a part of the Brass Fortress, though. It seems very dwarven-like. New magic forge. We should leave as soon as possible. Sotha Seal constructs his clockwork servitors here. The factotums. They reject anyone who doesn't belong. Someone meant for us to die here. 
Oops. Oh, remedial spellcraft is all I can muster, but I will aid you as best I can. Lead on. Okay. So we got some factotums over here. This side looks locked anyway, so I guess this is the only way. So factotum right there, but I don't think we need to go that way. I think we need to... Oh, crap. Where'd you come from? I couldn't even cast sweeps. Haha! -ha. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh, God, there's fire. Let me see. So, straight and left. Whoa. Whoa. Let's just wait. What? Oh, you know what? Let's just go around. Those aren't very tricky to navigate through. Haha! -ha. Prime new something. <gasps> We've, we're here. Defeat this monstrosity, but don't kill it. Reclaim my power. Don't kill it. Stand back. Time to reclaim what is mine. Maliad Kebiet Tahir. The Vakrokad Sint Morad. Finally. You never know how much you miss a thing until it to kill you. <gasps> More ridiculous machines? I've had enough of this. Oh! Come. We still have a long way to go. Oh, he is powerful. Oh my god. I was not expecting. He killed all those factotums in like one single blow. Clockwork City. Are we actually there? Behold, a clockwork city. Whoops. Finally. Sotha Seal's brass fortress waits at the end of this road. We should go there at once. Keen to find out who sent us on that delightful jaunt through the new Martis. Okay. Well, this first video turns out we're actually getting started on the we're doing more than just the intro quest. Which is okay. We've been here before. I'm gonna try to avoid fighting anything. I wanna just get to the Brass Fortress. Hello? Okay. We're actually almost there. There's a bridge around here somewhere this is the actual entrance to the brass fortress by the way or the uh, clockwork city by the way and this bridge should lead us directly to there <coughs> who this oh it's, it's him how'd you get here so fast You've arrived good that was that was weird Reach the Brass Fortress. Debate fear. I warned you never to come back. Who's this? And you, one of Fear's lackeys, I take it. Lushana Pullo. Hospitable as ever. Go talk to her. I'll not waste my time speaking with a petulant toy soldier. <laughs> Hold there, friend of fear. I am Proctor Luciana Pulo of the Clockwork Apostles. I don't know how you and this egomaniac breached Lord Seth's Celestia drone, but I won't have non-citizens stirring up mischief in the Brass Fortress. Uh, how can I become a citizen? Only just arrived and already trying to grease the gears? New arrivals must secure an endorsement from a citizen in good standing. I'm prepared to overlook your atrocious choice in companions if you can find a sponsor. Who, Bastion? Until then, you are tarnished. Uh, how do I get a citizen to sponsor me? That's for you to find out. Not many citizens will risk their reputation on a green-heeled stranger, and you'll find no comfort from me. 
Maybe you should confer with the other tarnished over there. In the meantime, obey the law. I'll be watching. Yeah, fair enough. <coughs> Ushana clearly has lost her charming demeanor. Unpredictable. It seems I won't be welcome in the city until I've become until I found a sponsor. Ah, uh, yes. Their bizarre sponsorship custom. I forgot about that little wrinkle. As a friend and peer of Sotha Seal, I come and go as I please. I suppose it would be best for you to wait out here. If I need you again, I will find you. Can't you sponsor me? I'm not a citizen. And even if I were, I'd not waste time wading through their opaque bureaucracy. You've proven yourself to be more than capable. I have no doubt you'll figure something out. Gain your sponsorship. We will speak again soon. Okay. I appreciate your assistance in the pneumatic forge, but for now, our paths must diverge. The artifact we seek will not remain in one place for long. I can ill afford a delay. Navigate this absurd ritual quickly, and I will find you again afterward. Who is Lucil Lucinia Pulo? One of Sotha Seal's greater lackeys, chief proctor of the Clockwork Apostles. You might have noticed some mild cosmetic flaws honestly i think she's more automaton than flesh and blood she certainly acts the part but i guess my bigger question is why does an imperial serve a dark elf god seal takes all kinds imperials bretons even argonians luciana may be one of his oldest servants she served emperor reman cyrodiil as a battle mage in her younger years Made quite a name for herself during the Akaviri invasion. That's cool. What happened to her? Uh, how did she end up here? According to the legend, she was caught in a torrent of arcane energy during a battle with a rival mage. It mangled her body and sent her hurtling through the veil. She eventually crashed here. Seal found her shortly thereafter and mended her wounds. So now she serves him. Indeed. At first, I thought she served him out of some cheap obligation. Uh, reciprocity for his kindness. But apparently, she really believes in this place. I heard they had a bit of a falling out. She still serves him, though. In her dog-like <clears throat> Well, I mean, she didn't really seem happy to see you. People like her rarely are. You see, I present a destabilizing influence. I reject all illusions of authority and thus reject their entire way of life. Hierarchy, ritual, reverence, it's all a sham. I respect power, not absurd social constructs. She mentioned the Clockwork Apostles? Yes, a monastic order of sorts. They serve Sotha Seal through magical inquiry. Apostles fancy themselves iconoclasts. Who push the boundaries of magical praxis. There's a seed of truth there, I suppose. But they're still obnoxious. <laughs> are they all like Lucinia Luciana? <laughs> you mean, are they all half-metal monstrosities? <laughs> <laughs> more or less. Some modify themselves more than others. <laughs> it's a form of reverence. They want to be more like Sotha Seal. You see, Seal has some peculiar... Well, I'll let you see for yourself. So we are going to meet Sothasil then. Why did Luciana refer to Sothasil as Sent? Or Set? I don't know. Seal has many names. Sothasil, Set, C, the Clockwork God, on and on. Tiresome if you ask me. The Clockwork Apostles mostly refer to him as Set, his verse and sermon name. I call him Seal because I'm not a doe-eyed idiot. <laughs> Goodbye. So I guess the next order of business is finding a way to get a sponsor. Hey, Naramo. I guess let's talk to Naramo.